This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX2 Technology Student course. In this lesson we'll learn how to use Numerical Solve on the calculator. Press the menu key. Select Algebra using the arrow key and pressing Enter. We are given three options. The first option will solve equations numerically. The second option will allow us to solve simultaneous equations involving linear terms. The third option will allow us to solve polynomials. Select Numerical Solve by pressing Enter. On the screen you will see End Solve brackets. To solve an equation, enter the equation. For example, 3p plus 7 equals 22. As you're solving the equation with respect to the unknown p, a comma, then p is required. Pressing enter, and the solution is 5. To check you are using the correct syntax required for the calculator commands, press catalogue. Looks like a book. You will see six tabs at the top of the screen. Tab 1 lists all the stored commands in the calculator. If you are in, for example, tab 5, which is the templates, press 1 and you'll be back in tab 1. To find and solve, press N and navigate using your Dan arrow to find the end solve. You may wish to press O and use the up arrow to find end solve. In the list of commands, this is a handy hint to quickly find the command you are looking for. At the base of the screen of the calculator, it shows the syntax required for numerical solve equation, comma, variable. The square bracket shows that an optional syntax can be used. In this case, comma, then a guess to start the process of numerical solve. Press enter to send the command to the calculator application. Let's solve x plus 1 all over 3 equals x plus 5. As there is a fraction involved, this is an opportunity to use the fraction template. Above the division key is the fraction template. To access the fraction template, press the control key, then press the division key. Enter x plus 1, then use the down arrow to enter 3. Use the right arrow to move out the denominator, and then press the equal key, then x plus 5. As seen in the catalogue, enter a comma, then x as we're solving for x. Press enter. x is equal to negative 7. Another method is to use the right click on the calculator. The right click on the calculator is control menu. Press control, then press menu. You will see the pop-up window with options available. Press the escape key to close this window. Enter the equation to solve. Let's solve 3p plus 7 equals 22. After entering the equation, now press Control and then press Menu. There is an extra command. Select Math Actions, press Enter. Select Solve Numerically, press Enter. As you have entered the equation, the calculator has filled in what unknown you are solving for. If you wish to, you may enter a guess. Just press Enter, P equals equal to 5. When solving quadratics, there can be 2, 1 or no solutions. In the case of two solutions, they could be both positive, both negative or one of each. If a positive solution to a quadratic is required, we can use a condition when using numerical solve. Press the menu key, select Algebra by using the down arrow key and pressing Enter. Select Numerical Solve by pressing Enter. x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Then comma x. Use your arrow key to move to the end. Before pressing enter, we need a condition. Press control and the equals key. This will open the inequalities menu. Select the vertical line. 
and press enter. Press X and press control equals and select the greater than symbol then zero. You are solving this quadratic for x given that x is greater than zero. Press enter. x is equal to three. Be sure to check out more of the videos in this series. Thank you for watching.